Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry. The monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided! The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I... I can't move! Raven has put the mark of death upon you. 
Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. <laughs> you live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words. <laughs> <laughs> 